What would happen if I split your brain in half, like this? You would actually be able to live a pretty normal life with a coherent sense of self, but there would be some bizarre side effects. In the 1960s, scientists did experiments on patients who had had the two halves of their brain separated, which used to be a treatment for epilepsy. In one experiment, split-brain patients saw a snowy scene in their left eye and a chicken's foot in their right eye. Patients were then told to point to a card that was most relevant to what they saw on the screen. The right hemisphere of our brain controls what we see in our left eye and the movement of our left hand. Thus, patients who saw the wintry scene with their left eye pointed to the shovel with their left hand. However, because the patient's brain hemispheres were not able to communicate, their right hand did something totally different. The left hemisphere of our brain controls what we see with our right eye and our right hand. Thus, the patient pointed to the chicken with his right hand, while also pointing to the wintry scene with his left hand, because the two halves of his brain saw something different. And here's where it gets really crazy. The left half of our brain controls our use of language. Language. So when asked why the patient pointed to the shovel, something the right half of his brain decided, the patient doesn't know what to say. So instead, he comes up with a reason to justify his behavior. He says, oh, I pointed to the shovel because it will help clean up after the chicken. This is an example of what psychologists call confabulation or when our mind tries to come up with explanations for why we engaged in certain behavior and then convinces us that those explanations are correct even if they aren't. I'm a psychology researcher. Follow for more about psychology.